Welcome to the breeding farm here in Pal World. To get started, you first must assign two pals to the base, one male and one female. Once added to the base, you'll need to display your incredible upper body strength by single arm shoulder pressing a pal above your head and then completely throwing him one handed into the farm. Once you've got a male and female added to the farm, you'll see a message that says W Riz, but not enough cake. And no, it is not talking about this cake. It's talking about this cake. So how do we make those? Well, let me show you. To make a cake, you'll need flour, red berries, milk, eggs, and honey. Luckily, all these things can be made or produced here at our farm. You probably already have a red berries plant going. Uh, if you don't, you'll need to build a wheat plantation as well and a mill next to it. The mill is how you turn wheat into flour, one of our ingredients. The mill does require water, so whenever they're done uh, vomiting or whatever, they'll come over here and make us some flour for cake. Now pay very close attention to this farm, okay? This is a Pal Ranch. Once you build a Pal Ranch, you'll need a Mazarina who produces milk. You'll need a Bee Guard who produces honey, and you'll need a Chickapee who of course produces eggs. So that, between our red berries plantation, our wheat plantation in the mill, and these three creatures in the farm, all of our ingredients are made right here in house ready to serve fresh and extra cake with at-home ingredients. The harvested milk, eggs, honey, even the wheat will be added to your pal's food box. So if you're wondering where's it all going, it's probably in the food box. If you're noticing that your pals are drinking all the milk or eating all the eggs, I would recommend making sure that berries and mushrooms, stuff like that, is at the front, like the far left of the food box. For some reason, that seemed to help. It's almost like they just get through one stack of food and then go to the next one, so. Next, go to your cooking pot and simply start the baking of the cake. Now, you'll notice this is going to take forever. Baking a cake takes a really long time for whatever reason, even though in the Great British Bake Off, I'm pretty sure in 20 minutes you would overcook it. So if you have any fire pals with high kindling, I'm talking kindling three, kindling four, I have this Ravenhawk with kindling three, you can see it's even gonna take a really long time with kindling three and me helping, so just prepare for that. Once the cake is done, add it to your breeding farm's box, and when breeding is complete, There'll be an egg left right in the middle of the breeding farm. You can check your breeding farm's box and notice that the cake is now gone. Once an egg is produced, the cake is gone, so you'll need one cake per egg. Throw that bad boy in your incubator, and hey, you're off to the races. That was the entire breeding guide. Now, one thing I want you to keep in mind is that pals with these gold passive skills are the ones that you really want to be breeding, and hopefully breeding together with other pals with gold passive skills. For instance, I took this burly body Mossanda, and this musclehead Rayhound and bred them into this musclehead burly body diet lover Grizzbolt. So as you go through this, as you're making cakes, as you're breeding, be sure to come back to this video and let me know your favorite breeding combination that you personally have made. I would like to try it for myself and uh, make something cool. So until next time, me and Grizzbolt. Oh, okay. He, he had work to do. I do too. Okay. Bye.